A Pennsylvania residential purchase agreement is a contract that details the arrangement between the buyer and the seller of a home. Legally binding, once signed by both parties, the document outlines the purchase price, deposit amount, expiration date, and more. In this video, we'll cover how a residential purchase agreement works, the legal requirements in Pennsylvania, and what you need to create one. We're eForms, the biggest online database for legal documents. Stick around and we'll tell you where you can find an official residential purchase agreement specific to Pennsylvania. First, let's review. How does a residential purchase agreement exactly work? The residential purchase agreement initially acts as an offer from a prospective buyer to the seller of a house. It states how much the buyer is willing to pay for it, how the purchase will be financed, what contingencies must be met before the deal is closed, and more. It typically takes some negotiation between the buyer and the seller to agree on all parts of the contract. Once an agreement is met, both parties sign the document, making it legally binding. This means that the agreement can only be terminated if both parties agree to end it, or if a contractual contingency or a legal requirement is not met. So, what are the legal requirements in Pennsylvania? Prior to signing the agreement, the seller is legally required to provide a property disclosure statement to the buyer. The document details the seller's knowledge of any known material defects on the property that may impact the buyer's decision. In addition, under federal law, the seller is required to provide a disclosure about lead-based paint exposure if the residence was built before 1978. Now that we know more about how a residential purchase agreement works and what is legally required, here are some things you should do to make sure the process goes smoothly. Include a mortgage pre-approval letter. A mortgage pre-approval letter is a document from the bank stating how much it is willing to lend to the buyer based on their credit history, income, debts, and assets. This helps the seller determine whether the buyer is financially credible. Offer an earnest money deposit. An earnest money deposit is a percentage of the offer and provided to the seller as a show of good faith. It's written into the residential purchase agreement and typically delivered when the agreement is signed. Use an addendum to modify or add to the agreement. An addendum is often included with a residential purchase agreement to add to or amend any terms and conditions without requiring the parties to rewrite the entire agreement. It can also detail a contingency, which allows either party to opt out of the contract if certain terms are not met. If you're in need of an official Pennsylvania residential purchase agreement, you can get started by clicking the link right here. Also, hit that subscribe button for more videos to help simplify the legal process for everything ranging from buying or selling a house to making a will.